Hey everybody, I'm Dylan Artzer. I'm Jenny Sullivan. And today we're going to talk about Clarence Darrow. Great. Let's do it. All right. How long have you been working at the Rubicon? Oh my god. <laughs> I am my first show here was in 1999. We did love letters with all these amazing actors and that was the one that um, Jack Lemon did here. So it was fun. And then uh, Little Foxes and then <clears throat> and then it just rolled on and rolled on and rolled on and over. You're directing Clarence Darrow. I am. <laughs> Quite exciting. <laughs> Have you worked uh, with Jim before in this same capacity as you use the director and him? Oh my gosh, director? yeah. Well, my first show here, he for was, sure. he was, he in, the was first in, one. in um, Little Foxes. Um, but what's interesting about uh, this is um, he did, I directed him in Our Town, and I directed him in Dancing at Lunasa. And both of those characters had direct address to the audience, which is. Now we're doing a whole play <laughs> that's direct address. 90% of it's to the audience. Do you like doing it like that? Well, you know, here's the thing about one-person shows. I've done a lot of one-person shows. <clears throat> They're really hard. Everybody thinks, oh, it's just one person. It should be easy. But it's um, it, it, there's an intimacy about it that is... Um, much more intense in a way and it but it, it but it is also fun because the rehearsal process is it's just Jim and me and Dale our fabulous stage manager and and um, so we really get to dig into the, the, the minutia in a in a bigger way than you do if you got a whole crowd you got a lot of people you gotta take care of make sure they're okay so it's just it's a real intense one-on-one -on -one. The trick is to figure out who you're talking to and why you're talking to them. And with Clarence Darrow, it's pretty clear. He, he has such a message of humanity that he's trying to get people to understand. And, uh, you know, it, it, he lived in another time, but it is so totally, incredibly appropriate for now. So we're doing the play in the round. And I think it's going to do what I want it to do, which is be intensely personal with the audience. So, Do you have a preference? Like, do you prefer directing ensemble shows or one-man shows or smaller shows or larger shows? Do you have a preference? or? Does... You no, know, no, I don't. No? No, I've done all kinds. And I even finally, finally, finally got to direct a musical in last September which is something I've been wanting to do. I, it's the material. Mm -hmm. That's what speaks to me. What, a, what, is, what is this play saying that resonates for me? And uh, so that's my preference. My other preference, when I look for material, oddly enough, it doesn't always work out this way, like the play I just did in September. It was all new, new people for me. But I love working with my pals. And I have certain actors and actresses that I've worked with multiple times, and it's kind of cool. It just there's that shorthand, um, and I don't know. It's just rich. It's a richer kind of you know. It's the family. Yeah. We've got big drama in this, and some big. He's a very funny man, so there's some really funny stuff in this. But some of the, the biggest drama in our history is on, in this play. So. Good. It's a full theatrical experience. You know, he went from the 1800s into the 1900s. And when you think of all the things that happened in his lifetime, it's the, the stuff he just, the people don't know about him. And when I hear about him now, when I, uh, I hear his, his stand on humanity, what can I say, his stand on the death penalty, there's, it's so contemporary 
what he has to say. There's so much of the play is contemporary. You, it, it's perfect that we're doing it now in this political season, but also in the world of, of racial unrest. And I, it, it, so I, I read this and it feels like it's happening now.